Well, I, I think, uh, sad to say, one of the core uh, needs is, is the constant focus and development of trust. I think trust is broken down in some cases between clients and, 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 uh, and agencies. And I think part of that has been, you know, a, a second core area of, 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 of focus is the, getting the balance right between short term and long term. I think to have a real trusting um, relationship with the client, you have to really be committed to the long term performance of their business. And I, I think in this day and age with, you know, the fragmentation of media and the kind of, you know, uh, quick capability that we have to uh, assess data and, and, and then, you know, uh, gather insights, um, you know, there's a tendency to try to, to think in, in even shorter and shorter time frames. But clients are really looking for long-term commitment, uh, someone who understands their business, and then really helping them mitigate the cost of, of complexity. Um, it, the, the, the environment, the marketing business has gotten uh, so much more complex than, than ever before. So that need to focus on the long term and understand their business, build trust over time, and then make it real. Um, it's something that you know we, we have to close the distance that our, our industry has between what we think is possible and what the narrative is to what we can actually deliver in the time frame that the client needs it. What is your sense of the Cannes Lion Festival this year and what are the trends that you see? Well, I, I, look, I, I think the festivals come back. I, I, last year I, I, and the last couple of years I saw it gravitating um, much more towards the old world kind of focus on just creativity and awards. But this year I see a, a, a real, you know, and my own schedule reflects it, is there's, a, there's a real focus on, on, on the entire aspect of, of the business. We've got all our media partners here. Uh, the more senior clients are, have now come back, and they're they're coming here not only to celebrate and understand creativity, but they're they're going across the entire spectrum of of, uh, of capabilities and really wanting to, you know, do business at the uh, at, at the the Con Festival. So, I, I think you know the 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 theme is, it really is uh, on uh, kind of integration across the the, the marketing uh, you know ecosystem. And then the, the trend that, that we see happening and what I think is hap going to be happening in the future is how, how to kind of continue to use the capabilities in, in data um, to drive better effectiveness. Tell us about your view of the India market of DAM and, and what, what, uh, where does it stand in the scheme of things for the global entity? Well, it, it's our, our consistently our fastest growing market. Um, uh, I think that uh, both accounts because of the, the nature of the, the economy and, and, and you know, the, the, the overall macroeconomic situation in India, but I think we have excellent leadership in India. Uh, we've built a tremendous team. You know, it, you know, our business there um, uh, developed rather late and, and it, it developed largely um, uh, in the areas of both digital and, and uh, outdoor and creativity because you know media has been a, the stronghold of our, our competitors and so in that respect I think we had great leadership who saw the importance of diversifying the entire offer for clients and de delivering those types of solutions and we've uh, we've been able to create an incredible competitor in the marketplace and it really is uh, one of the growth pillars for our entire APAC region. What are your expectations going forward from, uh, from India and the leadership? Well, I, I think they're going to continue to develop um, the, the group and diversify across uh, the, the offerings. I expect uh, continued growth and leadership, uh, particularly in the areas of, of, uh, of digital and experience. Our creative offering there, I think uh, uh, we, we've been shortlisted uh, here in Cannes, I, I think, uh, with, uh, uh, particularly uh, with our web chutney business and maybe 13 different categories. So. Uh, we expect leadership, and, and I think both for India as well as, as Dentsu uh, India, um, we think that India is going to be a, a lead market in the future in this industry, and uh, that's you know the combination of having great talent, great leadership, and the makings of a, of a real uh, driver for growth. All of our global clients are looking to India, and so it's not just in the India market, it's how the world's looking at India which makes it a priority for us. What are the challenges you see going ahead in your role as um, at Dentsu Edges Network and in the 
advertising industry going ahead? I think our future is going to be based on, on building you know, technology-enabled, really data-informed, but still idea-led offerings. And I, and I think that's the challenge of, of, uh, of our industry. We have new competitors coming into the marketplace and the ability to kind of understand not only giving people the proper tools, giving them the insights that can drive real effectiveness, but still maintaining this primacy of people and talent and, and the, the fact that ideas are, are, are what actually generates growth. Getting that balance right is, is my challenge and it's also my privilege. So uh, this was one of my questions that how do you see the role of consultancies such as Accenture or McKinsey shape up in the advertising world and uh, are there potential uh, competition yet to your role as advisors and partners to clients? Yeah, I think we have a new competitive set and, and the Accentures and McKinsey's are coming in as are the De Deloitte's and, and others and they're coming from a very different place but we're all heading to a, 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 the same area where we're, we're trying to kind of mitigate the cost of complexity in the, in the marketing environment and where you know kind of business transformation and at the heart of that is, is really digital marketing transformation and, and we all have kind of roles to play there. I, I see the new consultancies are much more um, involved uh, in our business now as we get into the CRM and the loyalty end, end of the business, they much more direct competitors with our, with our Merkle offering. And also we see the competition in the battle for talent. But I think we're coming uh, to the, the issue in a, in a different way. Our, our real capability and our you know, industry's capability is deep knowledge in the consumer and the ability to execute, where I think the consultancies have always been much more at the C-suite level, advising them how to do something or really how to be more efficient, but not necessarily how to execute through the line. So I think our opportunity now is we're taking, we're, we're taking our you know, uh, capabilities and bringing them up market higher into the organization uh, because of you know, the importance of digital transformation to the business transformation that the C-suite's needing and requiring. So I've said for years, I wish we could get paid for our ideas, not just our execution. And I think that's our opportunity. I think the reverse is for, for the, the, our challengers from the consultancy side. And, and you know, we'll see how quickly they can adapt to that ability to really drive value through execution and through understanding of the consumer. Thank you.